What's going on, everybody? Obstacles are opportunity. We are live at Everyone Hates Tesla. The pay package has been denied. So here we go. Tesla CEO Elon Musk loses the bid to get the 56 billion pay package reinstated. Elon lost his bid to have 56 billion pay package reinstated on Monday. A Delaware judge upheld her prior ruling regarding the 2018 pay plan. And then, quote, even if stockholders could have ratified in effect, it could not do so here. And this is what she wrote as her opinion. Now, I was listening to some live streams about this, guys, and a lot of people were like, okay, you know, it is her judgment, and she has a particular view about this in the lens, which is completely fine for her to have that as a personal opinion. But when it interferes with the shareholders and what their desires and wishes are, institution and in retail, that's where it becomes a problem in my way, uh, in my lens, in the way I view the world. Here we go. Tesla CEO Elon Musk lost his bid in 2018, and the pay package reinstated on Monday when a Delaware judge upheld her prior ruling that the compensation plan was improperly granted. Now, she had a couple of reasons. So the package, worth about $56 billion, was the largest compensation in the U.S. history for a public company executive. Don't care, right? Elon's actual salary has been one of the lowest for a shareholder of all time. And the only reason he had a salary is because in the state of California, he couldn't have no salary. So they had to pay a minimum wage, but they ignored that part. And Musk's attorney attempted to sway the judge in Delaware Business Court after the trial to reverse her opinion uh, and then the, uh, to recuse in the CEO's pay plan. Tesla conducted a shareholder vote to ratify Musk's 2018 pay plan at the EV Makers Annual Shareholder Meeting in Austin. Texas in June. Of course, because one of her problems was we were stupid as shareholders. Uh, she wrote in her opinion on Monday that even if a shareholder vote could have ratified ratifying effect, it could not do so here. So watch this. This is this is this shows a little bit of her mindset, right? Because people were like, well, you know, it's a legal proceeding and, you know, a shareholder vote just can't ratify it, technically speaking, per the law. And that's completely fine. Okay, all right, got you. Uh, we did something, and, you know, lawyers always do something that, the you know, the judge is like, you can't do that, right? That's not how this process works. So that's completely fine. But she even said even if a shareholder vote could have ratifying effect, it still wouldn't do so. So even if it was technically feasible, she's saying what I'm saying is no. Now, again, is that not an ego like, bro, you're just administer the law, okay? You're intervening like, I don't care what shareholders say. I don't care what the rule of law is. Even if it is, this is what I'm saying. And it's like, it's about you, but you're supposed to be making claims that it's about shareholders. You're protecting us. You're there to administer the law on the behalf of the process in its entirety. Not because, hey, man, this is what I want for the world in all corporations in Delaware. It's about me. It's not about you. It's about other things, right? The judge approved a $345 million attorney fee award for the lawyers who successfully sued on the behalf of Tesla shareholders in order to avoid the payment plan or the pay plan. And we are pleased with Chancellor's ruling, which declined Tesla's invitation to inject continued uncertainty into court proceedings and thank the Chancellor and her staff for their extraordinary hard work in overseeing this complex case. And of course, uh, you know, the other people on the plaintiff side made this. Now, Musk can appeal the decision to the Delaware Supreme Court, which I hope he does, and I know he will. And this is where we need to head in the direction. We need to surpass this judge. She has a lot of personal issues, which is completely fine. Because even if we could do it, speaking as a shareholder, she was still saying no. Like, bro, this is what we want for our company. And it's a big majority, institutional and retail both. And you're telling us no because of what you think? Like, okay, cool. I get it. That's what you think. That's your personal stuff. But this is what we want. Remember, we're part of this company, right? We're shareholders. This is what it is. That's like saying we vote for a president and then some judge come in and says, I don't care what the American people say. I don't care. 80% of all Americans said they want this president. What I'm saying as a judge is no. What? Right? 
this is what I want. And it's like, whoa, that's a misuse and abuse of power in my book. And following McCormick's decision in January to avoid the plan, Musk lashed out on X, never incorporate your company in the state of Delaware, which is facts, right? That's not lashing out. That doesn't make sense coming from that perspective. If you guys were working for a company and after five years of receiving little to no pay in a particular arrangement, you didn't get paid. And it's not the company's fault. The company's going and saying, hey, we're, we're trying to pay this guy. And then a judge somewhere is saying, no, anybody would say that. Anybody would be like, bro, don't incorporate your company in this state, period. Right now, let's see what the Supreme Court does. Right, McCormick wrote, we're the court we're the court to condone the practice of allowing defended parties to create new facts for the purpose of revisiting judgments. Lawsuits would come interminable. So she's saying, if y'all did that, y'all be creating the presidents. But what I'm saying is you created the presidents in the first place. Don't try to gaslight us. You created it. Well, it's a large package plan that never was done. It's not the only package plan, you're just fixated on the numbers. But if Elon created 750 billion for shareholders and we pay him 56 billion, who really won? What about all the pension funds? What about all the retirement funds that have a massive amounts of gain in the last five years that would help them retire, help people, you know, move into a new phase of their life after working for 30 to plus years. That's a problem for us. We've been ripped off. That's obs that's obscene, right? And despite the setback, Musk has seen his net worth drop an incredible blank, blank, blank after Trump's election, 42%. The Tesla stock still holds its close, uh, worth close to 150 billion from the SpaceX side and is stake in it. And, a lot, and let's focus on that. This is the thing that I don't prefer. A lot of people, you guys are getting too loosey goosey. It's like, oh, Elon Musk has money. It'll be okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. We don't need these delays. We don't need these problems within his financial portfolio. Like you assume he has a bunch of money just because Forbes said it. You don't know how much of that is liquid. You don't know how much of the actual equities and the shares he owned is actually dependent on certain situations and has restrictions on it. And if he sold more, that would compromise his position within the company. It's a complex estate. The richest state is not simple. The richest state, and I mean his estate, it's not as simple as, oh, he got money forever. He would never. And you sound like the government at this point. Like Even the government has a budget and has limits. And we you know, argue and get mad about that and say, oh, they need to reduce budget spending and all this. So to just say, oh, it's going to be fine. I, I swear, people are very passive when it's other people's money on the line. Like You're okay with it if somebody else doesn't get paid. You're okay as long as your stock price continues to increase. The best you could do as a shareholder is vote. This is what I'm saying, this lazy nonsense. I say this stuff for make Americans great again. You guys are lazy. You wanna fight for your country while being overweight and just only pushing a button. Outside of that, you can't get in shape. You can't never mind that. If you gotta go out here and pave the payment, you don't wanna mind that. It's like, oh, he'll be okay. He's Elon Musk, he's got a lot of money. I don't have that position. Right. I'm not going to assume he has a bunch of liquid assets and oh, he could he he could he could wait for 56 billion after he's waited five years. Oh, it's no big deal. At what point is it becoming ridiculous? Oh, we'll just create a new one, which is going to cost us the shareholders more money. It's going to cost the money, uh, the company more money. It's going to be a problem for financials. Somebody was like, oh, this is just noise. Uh, focus on the fundamentals. Uh, a fundamental is not the the driving force of this company getting his fair share and getting his pay that's that's that side noise under what world and what construct is that side news like imagine if all tesla employees were not getting paid and i was like yo this this seems like a big problem with the company something we need to actually focus on and you're like well that's not a big problem man you know that's just side noise let's focus on the fundamentals like bro i'm pretty sure that's fundamental I'm pretty sure that's in the financials. Like, it's not like, oh, he said this on Twitter and we bugging out about it. It's like, no, he's not getting paid. 
So I'm definitely bugging out about it. Yo, Elon, I got your back. I already said it to people, man. I, I'm not I'm not with people in words only. Like, if we could get a pension together where the majority of people put one share and we all give a share to Elon, I'll give one share up. I'm completely fine with it. I just bought one today. I bought a couple today. I'm willing to give up some. I'm willing to give up one. If we gave up one from all shareholders, I think that would compensate him a lot. But see, I got your back. I'm not just like, I got mine. My value increased. Best of luck, Elon. You know, that's just the law. That's how things go. You know, out here living your life, increasing your wealth, skipping down the road. Elon sitting up there with nothing. And you're like, well, we'll figure out something in the future. You know, we incorporated in Texas. So, you know, that's that judge opinion. And nobody can say that she didn't thoroughly think this through. I don't give a dang. Shout out to Alex. She was like, oh, well, she wrote about it in 103 pages and it was well thought out. I don't care just because I write something. Let me say, all right, cool. I'm right about what I'm saying because I'm going to write 103 pages, chat GPT style. And then I'm going to come out and say, all my points are well bullet. I made my point. I, and I got a certain particular lens on the world. So now it's okay and it's hunky dory. Now you can't really say anything. Like, no, what? What world we do that at? Huh? In Delaware, obviously. Man, I'm out of here, guys. Anyways, let's put together something. Everybody give Elon Musk a share. And if he wants to reject it after we all put it in the pot and willing to give it over to him, then cool. We got to take it into our own hands as shareholders, period, guys. Because they're not going to do it for us. They're not going to look out for us. So at least we can have that after the backup plan of the Supreme Court in Delaware. Like, bro, we're going to give you a pay package, right? And I bet you then she tried to intervene and be like, no, don't do that. Like, telling us what we can do with our own shares now. I'm pretty sure she'll try to come up with a law from her heart with her particular lens. Man, get up out of here. And again, it's about your policy, not you as a person. You, your actions speak loud in this situation. And you allowed your person to overcome your duty to the court of law and to the shareholders. So for that, uh, giving you a negative, man. Let's get out of here, man. I know solving the money problem is going to have his way with this. So shout outs to everybody. Greatly appreciated. Elon, you support. We support you all day. Hey, and you got to share for me. Just know that. that I, I, look, let's put, let's put the money up. And then all of us as shareholders, man, that's a landslide. Let's get it, man. Much appreciated, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get this hot fire, this hot electricity. Everyone hates Tesla. Let's get it. Oh, almost hit the wrong.